Hi, uh, this is Ashwin again and this time I'm coming to you with a with a video on how to get your B, PS3 controller working with your Android device via Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Uh, so right now I'm running an emulator for the Super Nintendo uh, and I'm using the PS3 as uh, PS3 controller as the joystick for this. You can pre you can do it with pretty much any emulator available on the market and also any game that you have that actually allows you to map buttons so you can do it with use it with any of those kind of games so right now let me just show you how this actually works so the first thing that you need to do uh, okay the application does cost so it costs around three dollars I guess I'll make sure that I'll leave a uh, leave a note on the video saying how much exactly it costs well then again we always have Google and the APK files so you either know how to do it then do it so well here goes what you need to do is turn your Wi-Fi on go on to the market and just search for six axis the first thing you need to download is this thing called six axis compatibility checker and just so you know I've mentioned it in the form of a note at the starting of the video you need to be rooted to get this done you need to be rooted to pair your uh, PS3 joystick to your Android device so what you need to do first is just download the 6-axis compatibility checker this is available for free it's gonna check if your device supports pairing a PS3 controller so download it run it and it would, uh, it would let you know whether your device is compatible or not so most of the devices are compatible and the, and the latest ones are definitely compatible so uh, in all probability your device would be compatible so the next thing you do is you go ahead and download 6-axis controller so once you're, download, once you're done downloading 6-axis controller you see it's from Dancing Pixel Studios remember that because what we're gonna do next is we're gonna open up Google on the phone I mean on the computer and navigate to Dancing Pixel Studios. You just Google for Dancing Pixel Studios, click on the first link, click on 6 axis controller, and go down to 6 axis pair tool. Just download it, install it, and then you would get something like this a 6 axis pair tool. So, why this is necessary is because coming back to the phone right now open up the 6-axis controller app and at the bottom of the app okay I'm gonna stop it right now at the bottom of the app you see something called local Bluetooth address just make a note of this address over here and now get your PS3 I mean get a micro USB cable the one that you use to connect uh, to charge your PS3 joystick, the controller, and just plug it in and connect the USB part of it into the computer. So once you do it, on the PC, on the 6-axis pad tool, you will see the current master and you would see a certain values over here. Right now, my uh, PS3 joystick has been configured, so the values shown over here is the local Bluetooth address that you see over here so what you need to do for you in your case the current master would be showing something different so all you need to do right now you just need to take this value the local Bluetooth address and enter it over here into the change master and click on update and once you've done that you can just you're done with the PC you can just disconnect uh, the joystick from the micro USB cable and we come back to the phone so right now all you need to do is click on start turn on your joystick four buttons blink I mean four lights blinking hit start and give it a minute and you see it says client connected one and the first player light is on so right now we just need to tap on change input method 
and select six axis controller and now we go back so right now the six axis controller is the choice of input for this Android uh, device so right now we just go ahead load up any emulator you have uh, say this NES, uh, the Super Nintendo emulator the one I was showing you earlier on in, in this video so what you need to do over here is click on menu click on settings go into input settings and select key mappings so over here you just press on the key that you need say up and enter up over here just press up on your joystick down and press down so you just do that for everything and come back and then save your profile and when you try to save your profile don't be worried that you know your keypad doesn't work because you're keeping the default input uh, device at this moment is the joystick so each button on the joystick has been assigned a value so we just need to keep pressing something random and save the profile I've already done it twice so I'm not gonna do it again and then you just jump back jump again and now go to other settings and over here make sure you select use input method enable special input device example bluetooth gamepad again go back back into the game and your joystick works you have a PS3 joystick running a game so now before I go further I, I'd like to show you an interesting app that I found uh, this app is called emulator roms plus so I don't know whether this is available on the market uh, but in case uh, if it is available I'll leave a pop-up stating the cost otherwise just google for the APK file and you should be able to find it so once you download the app you know you get a list of uh, devices that you get the ROMs for right from uh, Nintendo to I mean then the NES console to the Nintendo 64 console everything apart from the Nintendo DS and a PS1 are available on this so it's got a decent list of games it's got a huge list of games to be honest just go uh, let me just go into SNES for you and you can see that there is a comprehensive comprehensive list it just keeps going on and on say for example I search for okay I wouldn't be able to search right now because like I said the input device is my um, PS3 controller but there are a, there are a lot of uh, ROMs over here so I suggest you get this and it, it, it is worth it okay now let's just see uh, let's just try running a, P a PS1 emulator and see how it works uh, okay there are two emulators for PS1 uh, that I know of one is FPSC and that's available on the Android market uh, I will post the cost in the form of a bubble on the video because I don't know how much it is right now uh, PS Expert Droid has been taken out of the uh, Android market so they have made the APK file available for free so all you need to do is just google for it and uh, the developer has made it available for free so you can download it right from the site uh, I guess you need to f you need to get the uh, what do you say the bin file or something uh, there is a certain file that you need for this what is that let me just forget let me just look for, look for it just a minute yeah the BIOS file uh, you need to get the BIOS file the BIOS file does come with this uh, so you just need to go into PSX BIOS and find the file and just select it and that's all you need to do okay let's just launch FPSE right now uh, press menu go into settings go into input leave everything as it is just select hardware keys and make sure that enable hardware keys for pad 1 is set as enabled and then again just the way the way we, we did it with uh, the Super Nintendo, Nintendo emulator just you know press up and select the up key right and for down select down left left uh, triangle is triangle circle is circle cross is cross square is square Start, select L1, R1, 
L2, R2, L3, R3 and leave the multis as they are for on off, and off go back and back so right now I'm playing a PlayStation 1 game on my uh, HD I mean on my Samsung Galaxy Note and I'm using a PS3 uh, controller that's it for this video uh, Happy gaming. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you within 24 hours because I'm pretty much on the internet right now all the time. So I'll make sure I get back to you. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you click like and hit subscribe. Uh, and see you soon with my next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.